So end of day one for the uh, of the Condé Cares ride. Um, 210 k's, uh, great day. 180 k's in, no rain for 180 k's. Been an absolutely pissed down. The worst conditions I've ever ridden in in my life. All in all, 210 k's in some pretty shitty conditions. We all got through really, really well. Um, reason I'm doing this is to raise money for Ketra's house. So at the bottom of this post, there's a um, a, uh, a link. Click on the link. Donate money. Go and have a look all about Ketra. Um, and uh, that's me for today. Um, another one tomorrow. Cheers. End of day two. Um, meant to be an easy day today. It was 135 k's. This is Andy Stroll, Baxter, one Stroll of our the wonderful, bar. wonderful Stroll assistant. In the, the last 30 k's was meant to be easy. Well, there were two of the nastiest climbs I've done in a long, long time. One was um, about 12%, the other one was 19%. Um, we got through all right though, again today. Um, great performance by Finn Baxter. Um, Finn's, I think he's. 11 years old and um, did 100 k's yesterday, did the whole 135 k's today. Day three of uh, Condé of Care's life cycle, done and dusted, 175 k's. All I can say is it's just a brutal day. Um, weather was pretty shitty um, for the first three three hours. First 60 k's is probably some of the hard hardest riding I've ever done in my life. CCLC uh, day four. I've done some weird shit in my life, but uh, this is right up there. So, uh, highway's flooded. Um, just if you have a look behind me, that's the highway. Um, there's the other side of the highway. We were caught on the other side. Lee, the uh, team leader, went and had a bit of a chat to a local farmer. He said, Nah, there's no trains today, champ. So, we've, uh, we've trekked about 600 metres across the field. And we've just walked across this railway bridge. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, great fun. Only four k's to go into Warwick. Well, day four of uh, CCLC is all done. Um, today was just a weird ass day. It's meant to be 203 k's, uh, only ended up being 108. Last night on Bunya Mountain, we had a horrendous storm, trees down the whole lot, so we had to um, dump the first. 60, 70 k's of the ride to get to our eventual starting point. We traipsed across a field for 600 metres through um, knee-high grass, um, carried our bikes across a train, um, uh, a bridge across the water on the train tracks and then back onto the highway the other side and then, uh, then back into Warwick. Just amazing day. Day five, uh, CCLC's done. Wow. 217 k's, about 2,100 metres climbing. Um, oh, look, it's probably one of the toughest um, days on a bike I've ever had. Um, just a really, really, but a really good day. Um, climbed over the top of the Great Dividing Range, so Warwick to Lismore. Uh, coming down off the Great Dividing Range, you know, we're sitting on 85 k's an hour. Well, it's done. CCLC, six days, a thousand kilometres, um, all all done and finished. Um, great day today. Uh, 130, 130, 130 k's from uh, Lismore to the Gold Coast. Once again, beautiful conditions. We had the wind up our clacker, um, up over Tomlin, over the over the uh, the range. Um, just yeah, just a fantastic day, fantastic trip, um, great experience. Um, don't really want to go near a bike for a little while. Um, just want to say a really big thanks to uh, the Condev Cares team, um, the the support staff. Um, it's it's the best run group ride I've ever done in my life, um, and uh, such good fun, such good experience. Made some really good friends out of it. Um, had the opportunity to ride with some world champions, uh, our cyclists. Um, learn a lot, you know, uh, during the journey. Um, and uh, but as I said, as I've said all week, it's all about Ketcher's House. Hit the link, donate money, share it with your friends. Cheers.